What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today we'll be going over the latest Destiny news covering all the recent things that have happened for the game and also stuff happening for the future. That includes some more info about the Rise of Iron DLC and some leaked information you might possibly be getting with that. Also if Sparrow Racing will be returning, the heavy ammo glitch and also a bunch more stuff on top of that. So as always a load of interesting stuff to talk about in this video. So firstly we're going to talk about the Rise of Iron DLC, the expansion that was leaked. If you don't know what I'm talking about for whatever reason, I'll link my video in the description which explains all about it what you need to know. So a lot of the information we got about Rise of Iron, which is the most interesting stuff other than the poster of course, was actually from Kotaku when they posted an article on it. One of those details they did give out was actually incorrect and actually inaccurate and they corrected that and said that instead of being based on the cut House of Walls raid, the raid in the Rise of Iron expansion is instead going to be a brand new raid which is based on the Fallen and start a development on that last summer which is really interesting. But I think the most interesting part about this whole article is they said the raid is going to be based on the Fallen with a twist. So I have no idea what that could mean. It's very, very strange thing to say Fallen with a twist. Leave your speculation down below. What do you think that means? I personally think that this could mean a somewhat new race. I say somewhat. I don't think it's going to be a brand new race we've never seen before. Obviously, they say Fallen with a twist. But I personally think that means it's going to be a somewhat new version of the Fallen race. The same way the Taken was kind of new. Of course, they were just based off the enemies that already have. They're slightly reskinned and the new weapons and attacks and some new enemies. I think the same way that the Taken was a somewhat new enemy to face, I think this Fallen with a twist is going to be the Fallen race we know and love, but with a twist in the terms there are new enemies, maybe new machines, and basically new races of Fallen to face. It could be a new brand new Fallen house we've never seen before that comes from elsewhere. I think it also fits in lore-wise because the Fallen are very, very decimated in our system right now. Talking of the races that are left, there's pretty much only one, which is the House of Kings. Most of them are completely wiped out. Most of the Kells, the Prime Servitors, and the Archons, they're pretty much all destroyed. So it makes sense for them to send some backup, and perhaps some new houses come in, and they've got these new enemies, some new bosses, some new robots, like a new Devil Walker, and some crazy new stuff. So maybe that could be the twist that we face in the raid. And I'm thinking possibly it could be the twist on the Fallen race we see in this Kotaku article. Now something else that ties in with the Rise of Iron, which I think is most interesting from Bungie, is the fact they've been completely quiet about it. They haven't made one reference and haven't talked about it. And the fact they haven't said anything about it is just as telling. And if you didn't think the Rise of Iron League was legit before, this makes it even more legitimate and more likely to be a real expansion coming in the fall. If this is the full expansion, of course, they can't just come out and say, yes, it is the full expansion. They want to reveal it in their own way. And if it isn't, then, of course, they would confirm and say this isn't the full expansion. That's a fake leak. And they've done that numerous times in the past. They have come out previously and they confirmed the Rezal Azir is not one of them when that Raider post came out. You might remember a few weeks ago when Bungie actually confirmed in a blog post that Rezal Azir is not one of them. And the Reddit post that everyone was getting very hyped about was not true. They literally just came out and confirmed that is not true. And this basically is not to be believed because someone was saying that a DLC would be launching on the 20th and it was uh, some weird conspiracy around it they literally came out and said this is not true so don't believe it and the beyond destiny room that came out saying that destiny 2 would be called at beyond destiny and it'll be launching on the nintendo nx eric osborne also came out on twitter and pretty much made a joke about it saying don't believe it it's not true so that debunked that rumor there was also a massive rumor that came out suggesting that Bungie will be selling heavy ammo as a microtransaction and people got very up in arms about it. Then quickly Activision and Bungie came out and said that is not their plans, it is not true and completely debunked that whole theory. So numerous times in the past they have done it. If something is not true and it's being spread around the community, they will come out and curb expectations and say this is not true. But in this case, they've literally been quiet. And it's the same thing they did as Taken King when that leaked around the same time of last year, literally like a month before the Taken King was revealed at E3. There was a couple leaks on a very similar level to this of the logo and the name of it of the Taken Taken King and Bungie again were completely quiet until they revealed it themselves. So it's a very similar pattern and it could even be a marketing strategy from Activision where they leak their own DLCs on purpose to draw out some hype. It could be possible but who knows at this point. Now moving off of Rise of Iron we're going to talk about Sparrow Racing and the possibility of it coming back. I know a lot of people are always wondering is it coming back? When is it coming back? Is it going to be a regular thing? And we actually got some more info about that from Deej. Now someone straight up asked him on Twitter when is SRL coming back and he said we see this a lot. I cannot say when or even if SRL is coming back. Keep asking, I miss it too. So that is pretty much saying right there, he doesn't even know whether Sparrow Racing will come back himself, and it doesn't seem to be a permanent thing. I think a lot of us kind of expected Sparrow Racing to be maybe like Iron Banner, and it would come back every few months with a couple of new maps maybe, and some new features. I think that would definitely make a lot of sense. So I'm thinking they're possibly going to start doing that. A lot of people really thought Sparrow Racing was a great success, but it seems like Bungie aren't really sure themselves whether Sparrow Racing will be a regular thing, which is kind of worrying because I think it would be a very, very good save for Destiny every like three months or so at return with some new maps, maybe two new maps. I think that would be fine. I think it's a really great spin-off and definitely some very good rewards in that. 
So I'd love to see that return. And do let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see Sparrow Racing return. Did you like it or did you not? And would you like to see it come back again in Destiny? Now, something else happened with Sparrow Racing, and there was kind of like an image that was put up on the Bungie site as like a calendar of the events coming up. And someone asked him, is this a leftover relic of the app or does this mean something? Basically asking, is this actually hinting at Sparrow Racing coming back? And then Deej said, it's just ghosts in the machine as you were. Pretty much saying it's like a little kind of bug on the website, leftover stuff as you were, ignore it, move on. So if you've seen this image and you're thinking this might hint towards Sparrow Racing returning very soon, this does not confirm it, unfortunately. A lot of people asking me, and this is confirmation right here, that we don't know anything about Sparrow Racing if or when it will return. And like I said, this is another example of Bungie coming out confirming rumors and saying this is not true. And instead of being quiet about it and letting us get hyped about it, like the Rise of Iron, they instead come out and saying this is not true and Sparrow Racing is not confirmed to be coming back or not. So of course the heavy ammo glitch was fixed with a hot fix and they also on top of that implemented a super glitch fix which is very similar to the heavy ammo glitch in terms of breaking the game. That was actually very secretive because the person who found the glitch apparently went straight to Bungie and told them about it instead of spreading it around the internet. So you've got two examples of what happens and this is a very good example of someone who cares about the community and didn't want to break the game. So he actually went straight to Bungie and told them about it and that's never seen the light of day as opposed to the heavy ammo glitch which of course cancelled trials for a weekend and delayed Iron Banner by one day and we're never going to know what this actual glitch was or what subclass it was. Bungie going to keep it a complete secret which is pretty funny so it could be like infinite hammers or infinite blade dance we're never going to know what the glitch was but it's pretty funny they patched it before we even knew what it was so that is it for the news i want to add a massive thanks to you guys for the support on my channel we recently smashed 500,000 subscribers half a million which is a stupid number that i cannot comprehend and i truly do appreciate all of you guys who watches every video i upload who likes comments shares tweets me it is hard to keep up but i do try my best to read all the thousands of comments i get each day even if i can't reply to them all and i genuinely am grateful for all of you guys to support my channel the best way i can repay you guys is by giving you the videos that you love watching to the best quality that i can so i'm going to keep doing that and hopefully you guys stick around and maybe one day we'll hit a million subscribers we're halfway there so i'm really looking forward to the future and i truly do appreciate all of your support and especially you guys who watch my videos all the way through and stick around to the end to hear a message like this so with that said drop a like rating on the video if you enjoyed it subscribe for more videos on the channel also leave your comments down below what do you think about the rise of iron stuff and also the sparrow racing leave your thoughts down below as always i love reading your comments i'll see you guys in the next video